Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. This 140-page bill lays out strict guidelines for casino companies looking to roll the dice in Florida. The legislation would allow three casinos to open Vegas-style resorts in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Redefining the Miami skyline. One company, Ginting Malaysia, is already betting it will pass, buying land in Miami and designing this resort. A $3 billion investment in Florida. But Ginting isn't the only player with money on the table. Stakes are also high for the state. In 2010, a compact spearheaded by former Governor Charlie Crist gave the Seminole Tribe exclusive rights to blackjack and other Class Three games. In exchange, the Seminole Tribe is giving Florida a billion dollars in installments through 2015. If the legislation passes and gaming resorts are approved for Miami-Dade and Broward counties only, then the tribe might scale back its contribution. But if casinos are approved for other parts of the state, then the tribe may void the compact. But even if the tribe stops paying the state, the new resorts might offset some of the lost revenue. The legislation requires a $50 million application fee and a $2 billion investment, plus jobs. Each location will have five to 7,000 permanent jobs. The legislation limits the space the casino resorts can use for gaming. Only 10% of the resort can host games. The rest will be dedicated to hotel rooms and convention space. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.